Meanwhile, tonight, the authorities in Ferguson, Missouri, they are preparing to respond to yet another night of potentially violent protests. And tomorrow, the Attorney General, Eric Holder, is set to arrive in the St. Louis suburb as his agency now takes a larger role in the investigation into the shooting death of Michael Brown. For the very latest on the ground, at this hour, we turn to Fox's own Steve Harrigan. He is in Ferguson tonight. Steve. Sean, you can get a look at these protesters behind me, and one thing you will notice as they continue to ch chant, hands up, don't shoot, in a real taunting manner to the police on the sidewalk, their numbers are way down over just the past 24 hours. It looks like about 150 protesters, a lot of young men in the front marching. They have to march or else the police will arrest them. They're not really allowed to stand still on the sidewalks. But the numbers are down. That's because of a couple of reasons. First, real appeals by the police, but also by community activists to stand down tonight once the sun goes down. And it appears that most people have obeyed that call from all sides to not protest tonight. So we, we see and hear about 150 chanting and a, a, a spirited and an angry group as they pass the police here, but numbers way down, apparently listening to their own leaders as well as the police, uh, about 150 strong, which is really uh, about a tenth of what we saw last night, Sean. Well, then you see this. Has there been any violence there tonight, Steve? Does it seem like it's 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 sort of in the same mood as last night? It is a lot less as far as numbers and a lot calmer than last night. Of course, this can spark and it can change quickly. We've seen a number of arrests and, of course, there was another shooting death about five miles away from here in St. Louis today. But that has not sparked the numbers. It has not increased the numbers. About one-tenth of the number of people out on the street tonight that we saw last night, Sean. What are they, what are they saying? Because I can't fully understand. What are they actually chanting? There's, there's two different chants that we've been hearing. One is Mike Brown. Brown, the 18-year-old boy who was killed, and also, uh, hands up, don't shoot. They look at the police and shout at the police when they go by, and a sort of, uh, you can really sense the anger when they do that, and the police just yeah. pretty much stand there with their batons and watch them go by silently. Steve, would, it, would any of the people there talk to you? Yeah, a lot of people will talk to me, Sean. If you have a question to put to any of them, I'd be glad to. Yeah. Ask them if they are totally convinced that, in fact, you know, in other words, we have other reports out there. We're going to play audio from an alleged friend of the officer who has a very different story. Is there any any willingness to hear the, at least the full story from the other side, or have they just made the, their mind up that this was, in fact, done by the police officer and this, he's guilty? Can I ask you a question, sir? Are you 100 percent convinced that the police officer is guilty of killing Michael Brown? It was capital murder. It's murder? Capital murder, death row. Do you think there might be two sides to this or that there needs to be an investigation or are you convinced? Well, I'm pretty much convinced, but by law, there should be an investigation. But the investigation shouldn't be done by by McCullough, prosecuting attorney. We should have a special prosecutor because he's going to favor the cops. He's going to give him a light sentence, a light charge. Hey, Steve. We need a new prosecutor. So hey, does, does he believe a man is innocent until proven I'm, guilty? We are my We are my We are my I got one more question for you, sir. Is a man innocent until proven guilty? You know, I call the people are innocent to proven guilty. But the problem is, apparently, we get locked up when we get when there's an accusation against us. He should be locked up, then proven innocent if he's innocent. But like any of us all, he should be locked up. All right, we lost Steve Harrigan there. Now we're going to go back to Ferguson, Missouri. All three.